Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where we're checking out one of the most popular ways to get into mountain biking. That's right, we're checking out the Specialized Rock Hopper. And more specifically, this is the Sport 27.5. So in this video, we're going to go into the features and designs of the new 2021 Specialized Rock Hopper. We'll talk about its two different wheel sizes and large width of frame sizes while well, finally going through the specs and features and finding out exactly what it weighs. So go ahead, stick around, and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. The Specialized Rock Hopper has to be one of the most popular nameplates out on the trail. The Rock Hopper has been around for quite some time, and it's where Specialized really began building their mountain bike presence. So the Specialized Rock Hopper lands in the entry-level side of Specialized lineup. And this particular version we're checking out is the Sport model, which is one level up from the most basic. And what we have here is a bike that's really designed to be a great gateway into cycling. And it comes in a huge range of sizes and really dials in what they used to have in the past. So Specialized used to have a bit more confusing lineup of their entry-level mountain bikes by having a rock hopper, which was 29 only, and then by having a pitch, which was 27.5 only. And what I'm talking about here is the wheel size. So most mountain bikes now come either 29 or 27 and a half. And their smaller wheel size generally makes them a bit more playful, but it doesn't allow them to carry speed or go over obstacles quite as easy as the larger 29s. And people will choose the two different wheel sizes based on how they want their bike to perform, as well as based on their height. And what Specialized has done here is rather than having two different models with slightly different geometries, they've made one rock hopper that comes in a couple different wheel sizes. And in the extra extra small size, which is more a carryover from that taller kid into an adult bike, that'll be a 26 inch. But models extra small to medium are going to run a 27.5. The version we have here is a 27.5 in a medium frame size. Now the 29er you can get from a size small all the way up to a double extra large. And what's neat about that is that means those two sizes, the small and medium cross over where you can get them both in either wheel size. And that to me is really neat because that's gonna allow you as the rider, if you're on one of those in between sizes to choose what's gonna fit you and your riding style the most. Now talking about the bike, it's gonna have a really nice aluminum frame. As you can see here, absolutely gorgeous. This is made out of specialized A1 aluminum. It's gonna be a butted and manipulated tubing frame. It's gonna have cool features like internal cable routing. It's got routing to add a dropper post if you wanted to. It'll be quick release in the rear as well as the front. And the geometry of the bike is pretty fun. So the Geo here is gonna place this right into the cross country to trail category. And what's neat is in the 27.5 version of this bike, size medium, you'll have a 68 degree head tube angle, 73 and a half degree seat tube angle, 440 millimeter chainstay, and a wheelbase of 1118 millimeters. Now to a 29er, those stay almost identical, both with the same chainstay and seat tube angle, Head tube angle gets a little steeper to 68 and a half degrees, but it remains with the same trail number of 97. And what that basically means when I say trail, that's the distance between where the head tube's coming down and the forward reach to the center axle. And you want those numbers to stay similar if you want the bike to remain riding the same. And going to that 29er, it keeps the same chainstay length, but it elongates the wheelbase by only 10 millimeters. So that means when you're checking out these bikes, you're really not making a concession between the 29 or the 27.5 because both are being dialed in to be great trail bikes, awesome place to begin if you're a Nyka rider or if you're getting into mountain biking, as well as something to get around town with if you just wanted a super durable city bike. So speaking of durability, we should talk about the front end, in which case we've got a SR Suntour XCM fork. 
This Exium fork comes in either 80, 90, or 100 millimeters of travel based on the frame size. Sizes small and larger get the 100 mil travel. So you're gonna have lots of suspension travel here. It's going to be preload adjust only, so very minimal adjustment to it. But then it's gonna run back to this very nice Shimano Altus drivetrain. The drivetrain has the RD M2000 nine speed rear derailleur, which runs through the Sunrace 1136 nine speed cassette going forward to the Stout two by crankset operated by a micro shift front derailleur, as well as dual control micro shift shifters. So you've got an index finger here to bring you to harder gear, thumb button to bring you to an easier gear, and then the same on the other side to set you up for the two speed front derailleur. And that drivetrain should prove to be pretty usable because it's going to allow for good on-road performance if you're using it there, as well as off-road performance too. To slow the bike down, you'll have the Tektro M275 brakes. These 275 brakes are dual piston hydraulic calipers operating a 160 millimeter rotor. And that rotor is slowing down some very awesome double walled aluminum rims. So these rims are gonna be from Specialized own lineup. They've got a 25 millimeter internal width. They're laced up 32 spokes and they're wrapped with these specialized ground control tires. This is the sport level tire, so it's going to be wire bead, but you've got this great, nice tread pattern to it to be fast rolling, but also grippy. And personally, I run the ground control series of tires on my downcountry bike because it's an awesome mix between that performance uh, as well as still having tons of grip. The last things to mention on this bike are of course gonna be the cockpit, in which case this bike's running a specialized bridge saddle, which is from their body geometry division, a 30.9 rigid seat post that you can upgrade to a dropper if you wanted to. And then you'll have this nice wide stout 31.8 alloy handlebar and stem combination. So now that we've taken a look at this bike, let's go ahead and find out what the size medium Specialized Rock Hopper Sport 27.5 weighs. The actual weight of the Rock Hopper Sport 27.5 in a size medium comes in and weighs 31.37 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Specialized Rock Hopper Sport. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave the thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed the video.